Hey guys, welcome back to Booze and Movies. This week I actually saw a movie I liked. None of you are going to agree with me about the movie, but that's fine. But more importantly, what booze is it this week? Well, we have Canadian Mist. I paid $15 for this. I don't understand why they couldn't fill it up. Alright, let's try it out. No ice this time. That's because while I was debating the film and what to tell you about it, it melted. It does not smell very good. It's definitely better than rubbing alcohol, though, unlike importers. Let's try it. Ah. It's not bad, actually. Okay. So, what movie did I see? Well, this week it was Ghostbusters, the new one, the remake. And uh, a lot of people are going to hate me, but I actually like this one. I'll leave my findings till the end, but first of all, let's go over the plot. So the plot of this one is pretty simple. You have a guy, he feels he's been bullied his whole life, he's not very satisfied, so he says, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to destroy the world, and there are four brave souls who can stop him. So, right out of the gate, I want to talk about the cast and characters of this movie, because without good cast and characters, you can't really have a good comedy. So, first of all, you have Christian Wig. she plays the character of Aaron. And she's definitely the most straight-laced of all the Ghostbusters. She's the one, she, at the beginning of the movie, she's seeking tenure at a year university. A year university. Very prestigious school of peeing. And then you have Melissa McCarthy. She plays the character of Abby. Melissa McCarthy, to me, uh, she can go either way. Sometimes she can be annoying, but she's actually pretty reined in in this movie. I liked her a lot. She doesn't get annoying. You know, she definitely still does her shtick, but it's not so in your face about it that it's a problem. I thought it was very good. And then you have Kate McKinnon. She plays the character of Holtzman. To me, I really liked her. I think maybe a lot of people may not like her. She's really weird. She's very upbeat, but she also doesn't seem to care about human life. Like, she literally tapes what is basically a nuclear reactor above the Ghostbusters car. Like, she's weird, but I liked it. I like weird stuff. And then you have Leslie Jones, and to me, she was really good in this. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a shtick we've seen before. A lot of attitude, big black woman, you know, I mean, it's racist as fuck for me to say that, but it is a shtick that's very popular in comedy. A big black woman with a lot of attitude. And then you have Chris Hemsworth, who plays Andy Dwyer from Parks and Recreation. Like, I don't know what else to say. He is playing that exact character. So, together, those five characters have to go out and save the day from just some kind of pathetic jerkwad, really. So, the only problems I really have with this is that... The villain sucks, but, you know, I've seen that in many other popular movies. There are, I mean, there is a certain amount of comedy that I've seen before. It's not surprising to me, but this is shtick that's been successful for years. I mean, I brought up Parks and Recreation earlier, and really, I feel like almost every character in this movie is kind of like one of those. And that's one of the most well-received comedy shows of all time. This movie, yeah, the CGI, it's really cartoonish. But you know what? The Ghostbusters, that was a cartoon at one point. I don't mind that it's cartoonish. I don't mind that some of it does cater to a much younger audience. Overall, you know, if you're going to sit here and compare this movie to the original Ghostbusters... You're going to drink disappointment like I drink whiskey. A lot. You're going to drink a lot of disappointment because I drink a lot of whiskey. Fuck you. Anyway, this movie, it's not as good, but I still think it's one of the funniest movies to come out in the last several years. Overall, guys, I love this movie. I think the hate it's receiving is because people consider Ghostbusters to be such a sacred cow and because of this weird feminist thing that I don't get. I, are we supposed to hate free-thinking women now? I thought that was something as a society we agreed we liked. I, I, uh, 
What? What? I don't get it. Sexism. I don't understand. I don't understand racism either. No one will explain it to me. I'm basically the Andy Dwyer of real life. But overall, I'm still going to give this 8.5 out of 10. I love this movie. I thought it was hilarious. I'm definitely going to buy it. And as far as the booze is concerned, I know I drink Canadian Mist a lot, but I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I mostly drink it because it is $15 for this entire thing. I lied earlier. They do fill it up. It's $15. Like, that's a good deal. Like, I drink this all the time. Um, but I'm not an alcoholic or anything. Go watch Ghostbusters. You should do that. Bye.